Hello my fellow creators and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yvette and I am part of the Not Too Shabby Shop Design Team. Today I want to share what I got in this month's box of the month, so let's get right to it. Just look at all the fun goodies. Let's take them out and we'll go through them together. Now, the first stamp set is the Sucka for Plants stamp set. And I just love the names of the stamp sets and paper pads. They are so creative when naming these. So you have these beautiful succulent images and some lovely sentiments. This sentiment says, be patient through the dry spells. This other one is stay sharp, plantaholic, I'm a sucker for plants, and cactus makes perfect. Those are really cute sentiments. Our next stamp set is the Hang In There stamp set. This has some lovely images of hanging succulents. There's also a succulent in a mug and another one in a planter. And of course, there's this cute little heart. Now the sentiments for this stamp set are, sorry things kinda suck right now, thinking of you and hang in there. The third stamp set is the Stick With Me stamp set. And isn't this so cute? So you have some cute little cacti images, and I just love this one with a little sombrero. And of course, you have some sentiments. This one says, become the best version of yourself. Sorry for being so prickly. Fan cactus. And let's fiesta. Now, of course, when you get your box of the month, you get a little freebie. In this case, it was some enamel dots and a sweet treat from Jamie. You also get two pattern paper pads and coordinating ephemera. So in this month's box, the first paper pad is the Cup of Flowers paper pad and coordinating ephemera, which I'll put a picture of that up on screen now. Our second paper pad is the succulent paper pad and coordinating ephemera. And again, I'll pop up a picture of that ephemera on screen now. Today, I chose to use the succulent paper pad and ephemera. Now, here's a fun fact about me. I do not have a green thumb. It must have skipped a generation because my mom is amazing with plants. Me, not so much. My dear friend Maria Elena once gave me a cactus because she said, you can't possibly destroy a cactus. You just can't. See, I forget to water my plants. I used to say that it, if it wasn't for my children reminding me they were hungry, I'd probably forget to feed them too. So she said, I'm going to give you this beautiful cactus and there is just no way you can destroy it. It's a cactus. You don't even have to water it that much. So I thought, great, I can do this. I can't destroy a cactus. Well, guess what? That cactus did not survive in my hands. I don't know how I managed to do that. I don't know if I overwatered it or I didn't water it enough. I really couldn't tell you. But at least with these beautiful cacti ephemera, I know I can't destroy them. So here I decided I wanted to add another pattern paper. So I brought in some of these dots and gingham paper pads from my stash. And I decided to use this pretty pink gingham from the winter gingham pad. Now I will be sure to link to the Not Too Shabby shop in the description box below.
No quiero más problemas, quiero más fiesta y alegría en mi vida. Estoy trabajando todos los días, pero no siento mucha pena. La semana está por terminar. Está terminando, los trajitos se están mezclando y todo el mundo está preparando porque la fiesta va a empezar. there you have my completed card using the goodies from this month's box of the month. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'd be thrilled if you subscribed to my YouTube channel or followed me on any of my other social media platforms. As always, have a beautiful, safe, and creative day. Thanks for watching. Bye.